I'm going to change this window back to a properties window. With the armature selected, I'm going to go into the armature properties and turn X-ray on. Now we can see the armature through the skin. Uh, we have a problem that the skin is the same color as the armature, so I'm going to go into object mode, select the skin, and go into its material and the diffuse color. I'm going to make a sort of brown clay color, somewhere around the orange, maybe a little darker. So it's about fine. With the armature selected, I'm going to press G to grab and Z for Z direction. I'm going to use the arms and shoulders to start matching the skin to the armature. I'm going to zoom in and press uh, S again for scale and try and get the ends of the collarbones the right width for the shoulders, which is about there. Uh, G to grab Z again to get the arms of the armature and the skin to match. I'm going to go into view, top view, and G to grab this time it's Y for Y direction, and again get the arms of the skin and the arms of the armature to be in line. Back to the front view. Uh, and I'm going to select the armature and go into edit mode. In edit mode I can move the bones to match the skin. I'm going to press G and this time X to move the elbow joint to the right place and G and X again to move the wrist to the right place and G and X to move the end of the fingertips. Now I'm going to do the neck and head, so I'm going to G and Z this time to move that down to the base of the top of the neck, and G and Z again and move that up to the top of the head. I'm going to select the head of the backbone, press G for grab, Z for Z direction, move that up a bit, zoom in, select the whole of the hip bone, G and Z again, and move that up quite a bit, and select the head of the leg bone, G, Z, and move that up to about there. If we pan down, we can put the knee bones in the right place, just G to grab this time and put the knee bone about there, we pan up a bit, grab the ankle bone or where the ankle would be G and put it about there and finally the foot, the end of the foot G to grab and put that about there. Now that we've matched the armature to the skin, we go back into pose mode and we select the skin, shift and select a bone, control and P to create a child-parent relationship. We want armature to form with automatic weights. To test to see if it works, I'm going to go into the dope sheet window and change the action back to the jump kick and play that and see what we get and the skin is linked to the armature once you've set up the rig the workflow for bringing another action in is to start a new blender file delete the default cube File, import your motion capture file, uh, find where it is, I'm looking for dance, BVH, import that. Now all you have to do now is file save this, uh, I'm going to put it in the same folder, I'm going to call it dance blend.
Now if we go back to the file that we created and file this time append find the dance blend which is there go into action and there should be an action called dance link append now in here there should be a dance it's there don't forget to click the F and we should rewind and play and hopefully get a dance that works nicely that's the end of this tutorial I'll put all the files used and created at my website freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there Thanks for watching and goodbye.